Okay guys, so let's talk a little bit about downloading and importing your digital planner. So if you bought my digital planner off of my website, uh, you would have started at this page and clicked add to cart. It would have brought up your cart and you would have done a checkout, which would bring you to this page. And once you paid for the digital planner, you should see a page like this. Um, this page is where you're going to get your download. And it has right here your Midnight Desert Pack, or if you get the Desert Rose, it'll be Desert Rose Pack, dot zip, and you'll just click download now. Uh, the other option is you will get an email, and I'll show you right here what it looks like. This is what the email looks like. Your downloads are ready. Um, thank you for your purchase. Here's your downloads, and you have that download link there. If you click that download link, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this and says download now. You can also click there, and it'll download to your iPad. Um, sometimes iPads have trouble downloading zip files. If that is the case for you, you can download it onto your computer and then airdrop the files within it to your iPad. Um, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's loaded in. So here I'm in my files folders and I have my downloads here. This is the midnight desert pack zip. So you'll just click on it and it should unload everything that's in the file for you. You're gonna get three different files. You'll have a good notes file, a PDF file, and then a folder that has all of your PNG sticker images in it. And I can just show you here what it looks like if I go into household. It has all of the stickers that I could use in here already waiting for me. Um, and it'll take a little while to load, but they're all there and I can show you how to use those as PNGs later, which might be easier than how they're put into your planner. Um, and so you'll have your good notes, your PDF, and your sticker files. Um, if you are using good notes, you can just click on the good notes document here, click the share button up at the top, and then click on good notes right there in the options. And it'll give you an option to import into good notes. You can um, choose the location that you want it if you want to put it into a folder or you can keep it just at the front um, and you'll click import as a new document and once it's finished you'll be able to see it right in front of you if you want to find it you click back to go back to your main page and here it is right at the front or it'll be where you put it into your folders so there's easy access to it here and that should be just about it for loading the planner into the GoodNotes app. If you airdrop it from your computer, when it loads onto your screen, it'll give you an option to load it straight into GoodNotes instead of as a file. If you do not use the GoodNotes app, you'll go back to this file folder that you have here. And this PDF, the one with the picture, the 2021 luxury planner on its own, that's going to be the file that you're going to use. The difference between the PDF and the GoodNotes file is that the GoodNotes file already has all of the stickers loaded into it on sticker pages, and you can't do that with a PDF file that you're going to use in a note-taking app. So the PDF file will have blank sticker pages for you, but the GoodNotes app, when you click into it and you go to the sticker pages here, all of the stickers are already going to be loaded into it. And so you can see here, these are going to be all my stickers here, and if I lasso this, I can pull it around and use it elsewhere in the book. Whereas if I'm using a different note-taking app than GoodNotes, these stickers won't even be in the book at all. They'll be the separate PNGs that you can use. So that's pretty much the basics of getting the digital planner downloaded and imported into your GoodNotes app.